Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art Tutorial Series, you will learn how to create alternating flow diagram in PowerPoint. You will not only know how to create the diagram but also learn where to use alternating flow diagram to get the maximum value from the tool. The diagram helps us visualize this boring bullet based slide into this interesting diagram and before we convert the text into a diagram like this we need to understand a few important points about the information that we want to visualize. When we go through the text we understand that the information is about a process. More precisely it is the process about how claims are processed. The file first goes to claim sorting team where certain functions are done. Then the file moves to data capturing team where the data is captured and from there it goes to adjudicating team. So there are three clearly distinct steps and each of the steps has a title. So whenever we want to convert this information into a smart art diagram we need to keep this in mind. Let us try to convert this information into a smart art diagram. To do that first we need to select all the text. Then right click and go to convert to smart art. Usually the options that are provided here may not be the most appropriate ones. So I'm going to select more smart art graphics. Here the first thing we learned is the information is about a process. So we will go to a process option. There are many options here that will help us convert the text into a diagram but not all of them are suitable. For example, if you take this option, it only shows the title and it doesn't give you the option to write text under the title. This one shows an increasing process. When we see the diagram that is more appropriate to our information, maybe this suits us good and this one is better. Now the reason why I say this is better than this is we want to emphasize the fact that the file moves to the next stage only after completing the process in the previous stage and this flow is emphasized quite a lot by this pronounced arrow. So that is the reason why we would choose this particular smart art diagram called as alternating flow diagram. When we press OK you can see that the information is automatically categorized into its relevant sections and the title is captured. Now it is only about making this diagram a bit more beautiful. So let us make some cosmetic changes to this. If you don't like this uh, blue color, you can always go to change colors and convert it to the color that you want. So I'm going to use colored fill accent too. Once I have the color changed, I can apply a smart art style. So I can go with this one, which is the default one, or I can go to this, 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 etc. The one that seems to look quite interesting is this one called as intense effect. So I'm going to stick with it and I click outside and that is as much. So in a very simple way, we are able to convert a slide that looks boring like this into something which is very interesting like this. What is more, the conversion didn't take much time or effort. When you make presentations which have visualization like this, it makes your message more memorable. However, SmartArt doesn't provide you a lot of choices when it comes to visualizing your ideas. That is the reason why we would like to show you some options wherein you can visualize the same information a lot more elegantly. Let us show you some templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs volume 1 and 2. This one shows different steps in the process and each of the steps is distinguished by different colors and you can change the style the way you want. If you want a subtle 3D variation to the same diagram which talks about the title and the text 
inside them you have this option if you don't want to go deeper into each of the steps and you only want to talk about the top level titles then you can use a timeline for the process in this case of course you will change the years 2007 etc to the name of the particular process step so when you have more options to visualize your ideas you end up having more memorable slides for your business presentations if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such graphics for yourself you can always uh, browse through our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for business presenters hope you liked the tutorial if you want to learn more such tutorials please visit us at presentationprocess.com Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.